Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at some final properties of congruence modulo n before doing some videos on some examples. Um, okay, good, so the first one is some arithmetic properties of congruence modulo n. So we'll write this as a proposition. So if A is congruent to B mod N and uh, C is congruent to D mod N, then the following two things are true. A plus C is congruent to B plus D mod N and A times C is congruent to B times D mod n. So in other words, this notion of congruence n is compatible with like normal arithmetic of the integers. Good. So let's look at a proof. So uh, let's suppose that uh, a is congruent to b mod n um, and uh, c is congruent to d mod n. Good. So what does that mean? That means that um, A minus B equals N times K. So in other words, N divides A minus B, or A minus B is a multiple of N, um, and C minus D is equal to N times L. In other words, N divides C minus D, or C minus D is a multiple of N. Okay, great. So now the next thing we want to do is somehow get A plus C out of this and B plus D out of this. Well, notice we can just add these two equations and that will give us A plus C minus B plus D, distributing the minus sign as needed, is equal to N times K plus L. Good. In other words, A plus C minus B plus D is a multiple of N, so N divides A plus C minus B plus D. Let's go ahead and write that down. So we have N divides A plus C minus B plus D, but that tells us that N, uh, sorry, that A plus C is congruent to B plus D modulo N. So A plus C is congruent to B plus D mod n <clears throat> as needed. Okay, good. So now let's think about the next one. So somehow we want to get um, a times c and b times d out of this. So what we can do is multiply um, well actually we want to do this one slightly differently. So we want to take this these two equations and rewrite them a little bit. So now notice that A is equal to B plus N K. Good. And C is equal to D plus N L. Okay, great. And now we can multiply these two equations. So that gives us the following. AC is equal to B plus NK times D plus NL. Fantastic. And now we can multiply that out. And notice we get B times D plus N times... So notice if you FOIL this out, you're going to get a bunch of terms with N in them. But uh, let's like pull those out all at once. So you'll get NK times D. So that means we'll have K times D. So K times D. You'll have NL times B. So that's going to be L times B plus L times B. And then you're going to have NL times NK. So that's going to be plus plus N K L. Good. So we have something like that. So now notice that tells you that A C minus B D is equal to N times K prime where we've absorbed all those things together into one number. So we have AC minus BD is a multiple of N from which it follows that AC is congruent to BD mod N. 
Okay, so I'll clean up the board and we'll look at one more uh, proposition. Okay, so the next proposition we want to look at is the follow, following. So if A is congruent to B mod M and N divides M, then A is congruent to B mod N. So let's look at an example of that. So let's look at an example. So let's see, n needs to divide m. So let's say 5 is congruent to 1 modulo 4. And then 2 divides 4, but also 5 is congruent to 1 modulo 2. So that's kind of the idea. And you can generate a bunch of examples you know, just as easily. OK, good. So let's look at the proof of this. So here's what we'll do. Let's suppose that A is congruent to B mod M and N divides M. So let's see what that gives us. That means A minus B is divisible by M. In other words, we can write A minus B as M times K for some integer K. Good. And m equals n times l for some integer l. So let's go ahead and add that in here. So for k and l, some integers. So that follows from the definition of this congruence and the definition of divisibility. Okay, fantastic. Now we can mash these two equations together. And that gives us the following. A minus B equals N times L times K. So that's equal to N times K prime, where we've absorbed, the, absorbed those together. So we have A minus B is a multiple of N, but that means that N divides A minus B, but that is exactly the definition of A is congruent to B modulo N, finishing the proof.